Jeremy ruled out such divisive issues as religion, politics, or sex. What else is that? <laughs> Not because he doesn't have opinions about them, but because he wanted to focus on something much more important to him, the future of the articulators. Oh. Here to warn us of our impending doom, and oh. to avoid it, is Jeremy oh. <laughs> not too distant future. <laughs> the articulators will have 40 paid members. They will routinely get 30 people between members and guests at club meetings. Their room at first watch will be bursting at the seams. <laughs> One man has a notion that could help with this problem. He'll be laughed at. He'll be ridiculed. But his idea might save the articulators from total annihilation. Whoa. Mm -hmm. A little dramatic, perhaps. perhaps. What would you expect from your sci-fi fantasy? <laughs> <laughs> yep. I apologize to all of you, because every time we've discussed this topic in an executive committee meeting, it has jinxed us. The room is too small. We have too many members. What are we going to do? Well, there's an easy answer for that. Fate will take away five to ten of our members, and then we'll be good again. <laughs> and that seems to have been what's happened every time we've talked about this. If it happens this time, I'm never bringing it up again. I promise. But with the momentum that we have right now, with Meetup, with the way we talk about our club outside, with the way word has spread about the articulators, I really do think we're going to come to this place where we have to think about what are we going to do if we get too big? Every time in the past when this has come up, and it's come up several times while I've been here, we have 18 people at a meeting who are members, and we have four to six guests, and we're like, oh, it's just crazy in there. We need to start looking for a new room. That's the first place we go. Have to find a new room. Recently, we sent Kathy out looking for a new room. This is probably the third time this has happened while I've been here. She looks at two J's or Mimi's or other places around and nobody can accommodate us. Either because they don't have the right room set up or they want to charge us for it like Panera does. There are other ideas for what we could do. We could change our club time to find other restaurants. So we meet on later on a Thursday. Perhaps we could limit the people who come to our meetings on Thursday mornings. 20 at most if you're a member of the club. Sign up in advance if you want to be here. Well, that doesn't sound great either. These aren't good ideas. If I had my druthers, I think we should talk about Tuesdays. I'm not talking about moving our Thursday morning meeting to Tuesdays. I'm talking about an overflow meeting. I call it that because we'd only start it when we were truly overflowing. We'd have so many members that we said, what if we had a second meeting every week or even every other week? What would this do for us? Right off the bat, it would allow us to stay here. I talked to First Watch and they would allow us to use this room on Tuesdays too. Wow. So not only would we be not leaving this great restaurant that allows us to eat here for free and take such good care of us, we'd be bringing them more business by coming on Tuesdays as well. Maybe not all of us. Maybe to start, maybe just six to eight of us. It would allow for more speaking opportunities. Any of you know how long it's been since I spoke last? November 8th. Wow. Once every four months? That's three times a year. That's not why I joined Toastmasters. Yeah, I'm an advanced speaker. That doesn't mean I want to speak less. I want to speak more. I want to get better. It will allow more leadership opportunities in general, more Toastmasters, more general evaluators, more evaluators, more technical tables. Everybody would get chances to do more roles and move more quickly through the competent leader manuals, first, second, third time through. We'd also be able to have a greater meetup presence by adding another meetup page, per se, another meetup meeting on our meetup page for guests to come to and check out what our club is like. And lastly, and I think very importantly, we'd be able to keep our club together longer. Toastmasters suggests splitting at around 40 members. You should start thinking about should we split. I'd rather not split at 40. I'd rather give us even more room to say we have extra meetings 
Let's stay together until we absolutely have to split, and maybe that's at 50. And at that point, if we're eating Tuesdays and Thursdays anyway, it's an easy split because we know we'll just start a Tuesday and a Thursday separate club that can still overlap and go to each other's meetings as often as they want. Are there drawbacks to this idea? Yes. In my opinion, it's the more challenging of the two ideas. Shift locations, all you're doing is changing locations. Maybe you lose members because it's a, a different, <coughs> distant location. I don't know. But one of the locations we were talking about is all the way down in Castleberry, IHOP. I don't want to move there. What's close to <laughs> These are the challenges with my idea. Materials. We don't need a whole other suitcase to do this idea. Joan gave me this. This is the backup Sergeant at Arms kit. If we had two or three of these to pass around for people to bring on Tuesdays, it's got everything you need. It's got a red, yellow, and green folder in here for the lights. It's got ballots. It's got different sheets for the technical tables. So we've got everything we need in here for materials. We'd need to do a little bit more scheduling. So we'd need to add some more rows onto our Google Docs spreadsheet or onto our page on the website that we'd be adding scheduling to. But that's just more leadership opportunities. What a great way to train the next VPE or an education chair than to have them be just in charge of scheduling our Tuesdays. That's all they had to do. We would get the, their feet wet in a very important piece. So a leadership opportunity there. But yes, it's still a challenge. We'd need a format. If we're only going to have six to eight members, what does that mean? Are we going to skip table topics altogether? Are we going to have two speeches regularly? Are we going to have three sometimes? <laughs> Are we going to have to overlap on technical table? Maybe we won't do some of the technical table. What does that mean? So we'd have to think through that. Again, more leadership opportunities. And we'd need really good communication. We're talking about a small overflow group at first, and then half the people quit without really telling anybody that they couldn't go that week. Then we have three people show up to an overflow meeting expecting to be able to work on their Toastmasters, and they're really not able to. And that could be a real downer and kill the idea. So we need really good communication. What does this sound like to you? Leadership and communication. Toastmasters. That's exactly what it sounds like to me too. Mm -hmm. This sounds like a great project for a Toastmasters club to take on. One that requires extra communication and extra leadership. We will come to this fork in the road at some point. And as Yogi Berra sagely advised, <laughs> if you come to a fork in the road, take it. <laughs> <laughs> Which fork is it going to be, fellow articulators? The fork in the road that requires some extra prep, but gives us more speaking opportunities and keeps us here at first watch? Or Denny's? <laughs> Are we going to work as a team with our communication and leadership and put together a great project? Or IHOP? Coming this summer, Tuesdays with Jeremy. I'll now open it up to questions and answers. Very good. If you don't have any questions about this topic and want to just open it up to discussion for the whole room, I think it is an important topic. In terms of membership and home flow, where are we at right now? We were at 30 paid members going into this dues renewal. Now, we, you always have people drop off, and the bigger you are, the more people you have drop off. But we're looking at pretty close to easily getting to 20 again. And I think we will probably, once all of dues renewal period ends, be at 25 to start the dues renewal period. If we add five, six, seven members, and they are pretty active members, and I intend for them to be as mentorship chair, keep our new members get, getting together and getting involved with it. I really do believe we're going to be at a point where we need to start thinking about this idea. Well, right now you're having a rough time getting 20 members to pay. Are you kidding me? Well, we're, I don't think we're actually having a rough time well, getting 20 members have 20 to pay. Right we're having, 20, having trouble getting 20 to pay Early. by March 10th. Right. But here comes another one. Here comes Vicki. Good morning, Vicki. Oh. She's going to pay her dues. That's what yeah. That yeah. <laughs> would bring us to 19. And again, and we didn't have to work that hard. In the past, we've really, really had to book to get to 20. And I mean, just shouted from the rooftops. And we're going to get to 20 pretty easily. And like I said, I think we might be at 25, 26, maybe 27, right at the end of dues renewal period. And that's already a big club. What's your vision for the Tuesday meetings? More of the advanced speakers? I would think 
regularly one advanced slot that if it didn't get filled, then at the very end we say, okay, anyone else, you know, week of, if we don't have that advanced committed to, then we open it up to anyone. But yes, specifically an advanced speaker slot and maybe also a, I would almost call it an accelerated spot for people who have committed to say, I want to be done in six months with my CC. This is, we have spots regularly on Tuesdays for the accelerated path. So people who really want to move quickly through advanced or through their CC, Tuesdays would help facilitate those people. Tuesday morning, same time, same place, I think a lot of people could get here. Yeah. So you're saying on Thursday we have the suitcase, and on Tuesday we have the backpack. We have one of these or many of these. Backpack, yeah. yeah the backpack. backpack or suitcase. So now they're going to say, do you really want to go to a meeting that has a backpack or do you want to go with a suitcase? <laughs> that's what everybody will be looking at. Uh, and I don't think that's a major issue because hopefully you're hey, not. You're that's not what I'm here to... for. I'm here to bring up the stuff that no, everybody. I agree. Be Devil's advocate's about. a good thing. I'm okay. making the point of that this suitcase shouldn't be part of the standout of the club. And I don't disagree. If we got big enough and strong enough, if we had so much materials that we had 50 members, think about how much club dues we're bringing in. Maybe we could afford a second suitcase. But for now, I think for the overflow, it'd be for people who are part of our club anyway. No, I appreciate. I appreciate Devil's Advocate. It's controversial. Yes, Kathy. He's on. What about the the videotaping? We might lose out on the videography. That was the one thing. But again. People have cell phones. I think we could probably accommodate. If it was really important to the people to be video recorded, I think we could make it work. Yeah. I do. I think we so email too. those videos to Denny or upload them to YouTube, and he could figure out a way to get them there. So I think we'd make it work. I'm going to let leave it at there. If we have more discussion on this, we can do it over email. And as we're growing, we'll, we'll think about it. Keep it in mind. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.